This is Ava Rowe, and today I'm doing a podcast on Neil Armstrong. Who was Neil Armstrong? Well, Neil Armstrong was the first human being to set foot on the moon on July 29, 1969. And Neil Armstrong was born on August 5th, 1930 in Wapa, Canada, Ohio, less than 60 miles from the Wright Brothers Workshop in Dayton. Armstrong's parents' names were Viola and Stephen Armstrong. His father was an auditor for the state of Ohio. He had a sister, June, and a brother, Dean. He moved a lot because of his father's job as an auditor for the state of Ohio. He developed an interest in flying at age two when his father took him to the National Air Races in Cleveland, Ohio, and when he was six, he rode in his first airplane, a Tin Goose Ford tri-motor passenger plane. At age 16, Armstrong earned his pilot's license even before he got his driver's license. In 1949, as part of a scholarship, he trained as a pilot in the Navy. Neil Armstrong attended Purdue University, earning a Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering in 1955. Neil Armstrong was married to his wife, Janet. They had a daughter named Karen Armstrong and two sons, Mark Armstrong and Rick Armstrong. Karen Armstrong died from an inoperable brain tumor when she was two years old. Armstrong entered the astronaut program in March 1966 and became captain of the Gemini 8 capsule. Armstrong and his co-pilot David Scott rocketed into orbit and successfully docked with the spacecraft Agena, but things quickly went away because a thruster on the Gemini 8 capsule malfunctioned and the two interlocked spacecraft began to veer off course. He remained with NASA serving as Deputy Associate Administrator for Aeronautics in 1971 and after leaving NASA, he joined the faculty of the University of Cincinnati as a professor of aerospace engineering. He testified in Congress against President Barack Obama's decision to cancel the Constellation program, which included another mission to the moon on May 12, 2010. Neil Armstrong went before a Senate to question President Obama's new vision for the future of human spaceflight. Armstrong told lawmakers that he worries about the possibility that NASA would lose its edge in spaceflight if it spent years without its own way of flying astronauts. He was skeptical of Obama's plan to rely on new space taxis developed by private companies after the space shuttles were retired. And while Obama has argued that NASA should be aiming for new destinations like asteroids like Armstrong believes that there would be real benefits to returning to the moon as NASA had planned. Armstrong served as vice chairman of the Presidential Commission on the Space Shuttle Challenger accident in 1986. 
Armstrong underwent a heart bypass operation at a hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio in August 2012. Two weeks later, on August 25, 2012, he died with complications from the operation. His two inspiring quotes were, We live as we came and God willing as we return for hope and peace of all mankind. And that's one small step for a man and one giant leap for mankind. Thank you for joining me on the life of Neil Armstrong. This is Ava Rowe.